Budley, what day is it today? Today is my favorite time of the year. <clears throat> what is that? Why are we up at 7 o'clock in the morning? Actually, I got up at 5 o'clock. Just like a typical day, but I don't have to work today. I'm going deer hunting. It is the opening day, opening weekend of Iowa's first season, gun season. So, it's an exciting time of the year. Welcome to Hartung Family Farms, kind of. Today we are going to be doing some deer drives. So as I've said in the past, we are, I am gonna show everything that we do on the farm on this channel, and that includes deer hunting. The first Saturday every, every year in December is when Iowa's first season gun season happens, and we gotta do some application to pesticides. So the deer in our area are pretty, there's quite a bit of them this year. We had quite a bit of deer damage on some of our crops, so we're gonna be thinning the herd today. So we're doing a practice of hunting called deer drives. That's where you basically have two groups of people. You have pushers and you have sitters, and you basically just push the timber and help thin out the deer herd. So that's the type of hunting that we've done for a shoot. How long have you done it? Probably 42, 43 years. Yeah, and he's old. I'm old. He's very old, you know, like 76 or something like that. I don't know, I'm bad at math. But anyway, so we've been doing that in this, uh, some of these properties we, we've been hunting, he's been hunting almost all of those years. So it's gonna be an exciting time. I know every year uh, these videos always are very popular. So if you guys are curious and if you guys will like what you're seeing, hit, a, hit that like button and then check out the hunting playlist we have right here. We have some pretty good videos in the past. You know, my favorite, you get check out this hunting playlist, but check out this one from last year. It was an exciting one on our property where we had 20 plus shots and over seven deer in one drive it was a it was a pretty fun one but anyway we're gonna get into it. some stuff around it though I am going to be wearing this GoPro he's got a GoPro if he doesn't forget to turn his GoPros on when he has a nice deer two nice deer he got last year that happens once in a while or maybe twice in a while yep. both times he got some really nice deer last year if you got to turn his camera on like a ding I get excited well then don't do that uh, I'm not old yet. <laughs> that's a fair point but so he's gonna have a camera and I might have another camera to pass around today because my brother is not here today He'll be back tomorrow. But so we're gonna have some interesting stuff. We're gonna have some fun Hope we're gonna see some deer. Hope we're gonna harvest some deer because like I said guys We are going to uh, we need to fill our freezer our freezers are empty and that's what we're gonna be out here for So we're heading to our first property That's the, the drive we do every year on the, for the first uh, first drive of the year So let's get to it. Dad's gonna be walking or blocking a lot this year He had an he had a knee injury on his only knee he has left so he's gonna be sitting a lot, and we're gonna be uh, kinda in the same spot we were last year, so let's get to it. So one thing that we have, uh, have not had in three, six plus years, emphasis on the plus, is snow. So snowy backdrop, it makes it much easier to see deer, much easier to track deer, track blood, much easier to hear. So we were back home, we got an inch of fresh snow back in Davenport last night, but we didn't get that up here, but must have got something, cause there's a little bit of snow, especially on the north facing slopes, so. Hopefully it'll help us out a little bit at least. So we're just getting down to the bottom. We got seven guys up on top that's gonna push essentially that timber to the south down the hill. Mother's gonna shoot another monster. So now the fun part, now we gotta figure out logistics and who does what. Remember buddy, holy slam your doors. <laughs> Thank you my good sir. So this is my gun, it's a Mossberg 435 with a reflex sight on there. She is. Hopefully she shoots straight and hopefully the, the reflex sight still works. All right, let's go shoot something. Are you recording? No. Are you it's recording? Blinking. Yeah, then maybe I am. <laughs> What's so funny? There's, there's squirt. Remember that valley where I took you and your sister two years ago? Yeah, the, the far one there. Yep. Yeah. So I think I'll take you there for sure. I need somebody who knows who's been on that left side. Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Heart Tongue Family Farms. You got the Bud Man. And we're about ready to drive this here timber here. It's a beautiful day out, and we're gonna see what we can get. Is this deer gonna be the bigger than the size of a coyote? I'm just going for the smallest deer again this year. Hey, you, you I think you I think that's two years in a row you're winning. No, not. Last year, for sure. I don't think about the year before. I thought, didn't you get a small one at my dad's pa place two years ago? I know he shot a button buck. Uh, I'm not sure how long ago. Oh, that was I, was <laughs> yeah. I was ever bit at 80. 80 pounds all day long. <laughs> hey, like Stretch said, it's eating the table, boys. That's true. Rounds down, fellas. After last year, we need meat. Yeah, isn't that the truth? All right, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. <laughs> From beautiful. 
beautiful in Jackson County. Beautiful Jackson <laughs> County, Iowa. <laughs> <laughs> They're making fun of me. <laughs> I can't believe they would make fun of me. Anyway, we're getting ready to make a drive. Actually, we're going to be the blockers. Uh, so we'll scatter out all the way through here and up. And then they'll push this down to us. So we'll see what happens. And you're right, we're in beautiful Jackson County, Iowa. Point my finger, Scott. Yeah, if they, if they go into the cedars or above you, don't yeah, worry about them. Yeah. Exactly. But yeah, base could be able to cover 50 feet or so from the top all the way down. Yep. that later so that's not that big of a deal but yeah they're right in there bastards we'll sit here for like a little bit just let them kind of meander because we'll i couldn't tell i saw i saw tails so yeah probably does so so we saw four or five deer right there wish they would have been up a little farther but is what it is. I love this snow. I wish there's more of it. Christopher's dad should be right across me. You guys cover the valley and then right in front of you. Okay, so I can shoot that way. What about that way? Just watch when the drivers are coming. We, I would let them, let them get up here because if they bust early, they'll bust to me. I'm gonna be actually up in that field, basically right up this low spot in the field. So if they bust early, don't worry about them. I'd let them come almost right to you. Just catch my breath and let them come to you. See how right here is good. So you don't need to really worry about above you have a whole lot. Just worry about ahead of you and below you. We have this timber absolutely surrounded. And now we wait. I am sweaty. First shot of the year right there. Second shot of the year. It is not us. That's all right. So just so you guys know, it may sound like I'm talking loud, but I'm actually whispering pretty quiet. I can just manipulate the audio. So we actually have four people up on this hill. We probably don't need that many, so I'm actually gonna skirt down in case for some reason they run all the way across the top. You can definitely tell the difference between a driver and a deer because the drivers, they're loud, but they're not very fast. That was a deer in there. A deer will basically make a lot of quick movements and then stop and analyze. Definitely a deer, straight out of us. I'm probably not really gonna get a shot much because I got a blocker right in the hill, right down the hill into the trees. And those guys right there. That's Christopher. That was the guys on that side of the hill. First shots of the year. Those were two different guns, it sounded like. Hey, those two shots. I like it. There's definitely deer in here. I mean, there always is. There's something right in there. I tried to have us. I just saw it some crashing and some quick moving. see more shots or hear more shots I should say that's a driver moving oh so we got a driver right there oh right there's a deer right there dang it one got behind us That sucks. So basically a driver should have been over this farther, blocker should have been that way farther, but basically deer was milling around, milling around, milling around. Got smart, shot the gap where we had, 
went right out that way. Did you see those two that busted back? Did you see the one that busted back? The one that busted basically right on that hilltop to the right of you? Yeah. Yeah. I was, I think, so Lynn, Lynn was too far in and it kind of snuck back around Lynn. And that's what it kind of ran back and then ran up that way. Was it just one? Yeah, just one. Uh, there was three deer in there, but there was, there was just one. Just the one that busted back. Yeah. I think, I think the one doe went towards Lynn. Yeah, well, I, I only, I heard a bunch of them in there and that was, I heard basically a group, then those two shots on the far side, on that side of the valley. And then I heard, I saw the one, basically, I, I heard Lynn and yell, Shit and run this way and then I saw the doe basically just kind of go right up this valley and like probably 40 yards from that fence kick over that way but so right when we first came in here there were about four or five deer right up in there that kicked into this timber so I'm actually hoping that we stay here we're gonna walk I'm hoping we walk back and then push this timber down four doe that kicked back that way and ran up we're not even sure where they ran yeah so four four doe just kicked back on the top of that ridge line and then just kind of ran a ways where the heck did you come from, you dumb ass? Not real raggy. He's hurt. Is he? Yeah, he's hurt. He's... No? He might have one through his... Shoot him. No, he's, he's tiny. Even if he's hurt? I don't think he's hurt, though. Like, his front legs look... They're all moving. Yeah, I think he's good. Let him grow. Where did he come from? Yeah, he's a little fork. He, he did want to. <laughs> He's just... Let's start a second drive. Sounds like we got one doe down. That buck that busted back. Nope. <laughs> we're confused by that one. Um, so now we got this finger. We're going to push that down. I bet that doe ran right through here. Fresh leaves. This might that might have been two deer because there's two tracks here. So there were some, there is some deer traffic in through here. Like these are all fresh. So there are deer in here, but whether or not we uh, trapped them in, that's gonna be the question. So basically we have, this, I can follow this fence line all the way to it meets another fence line. That's where I'm gonna crawl, oh my God. What? How about I not die? So I'm gonna go all the way until I meet another fence line. And we're gonna walk down. Oh man, I'm tired. There's my fence line. Can't shoot on the other side of that fence, so I'm gonna stay right here. There's a rub, a couple rubs. Nice. Can you guys see Caleb? Okay, just try to stay even if you can. And if you need to, like, just skirt right a little bit. <sighs> spot died. This is a spot where they come a bunch. I love the sound of a spring. <clears throat> so some in here. How far up? Okay, hey Justice, we can start wrapping now. Caleb, it's about to wrap to the right, so just so you know that. So they're deer in here. I'm getting warm. I see a blocker right there, so we got these deer surrounded, I'm hoping. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm a lot of sweaty. Haven't heard any shots. Caleb saw deer, so there's deer in here, but just about to the blockers. Hoping we start hearing some land. Actually, some fresh tracks right there. I am Todd. Fresh deer track. So they're in here. I guess we'll keep walking. Yeah, this is all fresh right here. Definitely from this morning. What? 
Yeah, I'd say so. I mean, I'm, I'm on a deer track, so they're in here. All right, and there's where we started the drive. So this morning when we were walking in the bottom there, deer kicked up and ran that way. So we just pushed that timber back. I have no idea where the deer went. Oh man, that was close. Just about fell. That was like very close. That's a bad thing about snow. It's slick. That was fun. Where'd they go? Want to wrap the top? Was anybody up on top blocking? Why wouldn't anybody block the top? So that's that's the point. They just stay in the finger. They just keep going. Two people line this hill. Yeah, because they're. Caleb said four or five. Yeah, that, that yeah, that's about right. I was following their trail. They come, they come in this way here. And they back up that way. I was hoping they'd come down this way. Right when we were walking in right here, we saw a group of five kick back over that way. That was that exact five. I saw a rabbit when I came down the truck here. That's a good hoss. That was that first drive, those two shots that we heard. So Christopher with the dead eye, you hit him twice or just once? Twice. Twice? Nice. So those are those two shots we saw earlier. Nice, nice doe you got. So that first drive, Christopher only got a doe. We had a lot of deer kick through the drivers, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. And that second drive, we didn't block it, right? And they just kind of squirted out right where we should have had blockers, but oh well. And now we're starting the third drive. This is gonna line up around here, push all it down. Well, here we go. Got plenty of people, so we'll see how this goes. Crossing fence, always check the barbs, make sure it's good. Cross right at the uh, post. That worked. Not graceful, but it worked. There's, they were saying they saw some deer in here. So we shall see what we see. That sucker's steep. Eesh. Here we are. We are in lined up, so he's on the property line. We just got a line of drivers pushing everything down. Hoping I see something soon. I've only ever seen two deer, which still isn't bad. Still early, still in the morning. But of those two deer, one of them, one of them was that little fork. Another one was that doe that kicked out on that first drive. Jeez! <laughs> that thing was loud. That was a turkey right there. Suckers are loud. There's another turkey like 20 feet in front of you. Yeah, you can come to my side if you want. Well. So far I've seen more turkeys up close than deer. So there was a turkey about 30 seconds ago right in front of Flack. Oh, that just about died. <sighs> Judo chop. I don't think there's anything in here. We used to just go down the hill and the blockers are right there. Shoot. This year's like the exact opposite of last year's start. Last year we had seven deer on the last, no, eight, seven deer on the first day. I think we had four down at this point last year. Every year's different. Christ.
That was allowed. <laughs> Turkeys were right in the CRP, and that scared the bejeebies out of me. All right in the line. I was happy I had the camera on for that one. Yeah, there's probably nothing in here. So we just got about another 100 yards straight down the hill. There's a trail, but I can't tell how fresh it is. Nothing out of this one, not a shot. Saw a deer, got out somehow. Well, that's fishing, boys. I've seen more turkey than deer so far. <laughs> that was pretty cool, you got good footage of this. Though. That one was loud. It's probably 20 feet from me. Yeah, that one was also loud. Uh, what do you do? See anything? No. Nope. You, so you didn't get anything on the filming, did you? No. Nope. Nope. Caleb. I know. What the yeah. hell? Come on. I think you need a bigger dip in. I know. <laughs> you realize, Steve, the more curse words you have, the more editing I have to do because I got to bleep out every other word from you. Is it on? You know it is. Well, I'm sorry. Son of a. What? Okay, well, it's been a slow start to this season. We have one deer down and two shots. So we're going to start another drive here shortly. Everybody's getting set up. Uh, I think what it is, Bobby's not here. So hopefully Bobby gets here this afternoon so he can hunt tomorrow. But we're going to walk way over there and set up and drive this here and we'll see what happens. It's a fork. Good eye. That's right. That's the put. That's the finger we're pushing. So we're all right. God, why wasn't he bigger? So hopefully. So what I want to do? We're eventually going to push this. So I want one of you guys. Actually, take two of you guys. See that corner post right there? It basically, you just go right to the end of that cornfield. I'll stay right here, and I want to stick someone right there. Okay. Another one. What the? F yep. She's limping, isn't she? Yeah. yeah. Left hand front. Yep. So they're coming. They're going to be pushing this down at us, and then once they're at us, we're going to push this this way. Yep. So just sit right there, and we'll wait. Whew, that was exciting. Two deer bust across, and we had three up there when we were coming in here. Nothing worth shooting this. There was a fork that I could have shot, but it was a small buck. So I wasn't gonna shoot it. Uh, no, I doubt it. But hey, one shot, one kill. So we're, as far as shots go, we are two for two. Christopher hit, hit his doe twice. So that's the only deer we got down so far, but that was only one shot. And that was came from a row of blockers we have sitting over there. So if there was only one shot out of that, there's more than likely a good chance of a deer being down. So right now we got three drivers driving this finger towards us. One guy up there and then them over there. As soon as we see those drivers, we're gonna, us four are gonna turn into drivers and drive that. There's a shot from the honey hole. One shot, that's it. Not from the honey hole, from the bowl. Nice. Okay. So I know we have one, we have quite a bit of young kids with us. They're like a middle schooler and ex a couple middle schoolers with us. And where one of the middle schoolers was was the rough area where that just shot came from. Yeah, right there. There's a driver right there. So that means our portion of the block is just about done. All right, so there's our drivers, so we can turn into drivers. So now is here. This is a this is a tough one from a comfort standpoint because I just had to sit out here out the open for the last 30 minutes, and I dressed warm for it. I have my heated jacket underneath here, but now I got to walk for 35, 40 minutes. Oh, this will be fun. I'm for sure gonna turn my heat off on my jacket. But hopefully we got two deer down, or at least a deer and a coyote, two, two four-legged things down. Okay, so we are just starting this portion of the drive. Those guys are all done. Now we're going to head in that way, heading south. Couldn't tell who that was. So blocker, blocker, but very well could have been down the valley too. 
three single shots on this drive for sure. Yeah, because there's a blocker way down there, but it sounded closer than that. But it was one of those three. Yeah, I don't see anything moving because you can kind of see there's the drivers. And there's the blockers. Be crazy, but this looks fresh. Yeah, this looks fresh in through here. Well, it's not the biggest deer I shot, but close. <laughs> nice shot. Little basket rack. It's gonna cost me a 30 pack. Oh well. Bad bud, bad bud. Yeah, must have a deer down right there. Three guys just kind of piling there. That was the bud man. Yeah, they definitely only have one deer down there because everyone's congregating right there. That sucks. Oh well. Guys, I don't know about you, but I am gassed. Oh, I'm, I'm hoping you're not gassed while you're watching me. But, whew, I may have went too hard on that second drive. That was a rough one for me. And that might set me up for failure the next four days. Because it's a five day long season. So we shall see what happens, but. So, so far on this drive, just to recap, we had a single shot early. Single shot, single shot, and then potentially two shots that were muffled. That could be us, that could very well not be us. I'm not sure on that one, but for sure, three single shots. So there were definitely deer in here, that's good. Glad I'm not burning a thousand calories walking through the woods on very little water and food or nothing. But uh, in all the seriousness though, guys, this is, this is fun. I look forward to it every year, and all of us look forward to it. It's a pretty good group, pretty good camaraderie. What the heck? It's interesting scat. It was not deer. Deer have like pebbles type poop. So probably have time for one more drive after this one. We'll see what happens. Freshly disturbed this morning. We're going, going the right way. Yes, I know it may seem like you guys can hear me very well on the GoPro, but when I'm blocking, I am whispering. I am being quiet, I am barely moving. Well, I am doing those things appropriately, but anything else, I'd love to talk about them in the comments. So I usually do this, edit this video tonight and get it out the next morning. I will be reading this tomorrow or reading those comments tomorrow during this drive. When I'm driving tomorrow, I should say. So if you guys got any comments down below, throw them in there, let's chat. What do you guys think about deer hunting this way it's been done for centuries just a little easier with projectiles that launch at hundreds of miles an hour alrighty that is the end of the drive nada on this side at least well, there she is tags on it Good shots. There we are. Meat for the freezer right there. It's a nice doe. This deer and any other deer we get, put them in the back of the truck and we'll hang them tonight. Probably won't clean them tonight just because uh, usually it's cleaning is a pretty big process, but we'll hang them up tonight. It's a nice doe. Real nice doe. So we got three deer down, Budley's got a 30 pack and two nice sized does. So not bad, not great, but not bad. We've come out here a lot worse. So we're all going to pack up and head to the next one. It's about 12.30, we're gonna grab, grab some food and stuff as well. We always bring like snacks and stuff in the trucks. There goes some deer. There they go. There goes two of them, I should say. Okay, I don't know what's going on, but I just heard two shots over there. And there's another shot over there. And these kids shot three, four times. And I did see a couple deer over there running around. And then one was hit because I saw it go that way. So we'll track that here in a little bit. But I just missed a couple shots. Nice. Yeah, so there are a couple shots in there. <laughs> Hope we got some deer down. Man, oh man, there's been a lot of shooting going on so far, and I love it. So there's been about three barrages of shots while I was changing my battery. 
<sighs> Dang. There is more than likely one or two deer in there that I've seen. So we'll just have to see what happens. But I know those guys down at the bottom have already shot some. Turkeys. So I posted up right here. And the big reason for that is as the deer are coming this way, if for some reason they want to stay in this finger, they'll come out to right here. Well, they're basically just going to make a beeline for this cover. So I'm right here covering this little low spot. But I'm almost positive that those three doe that were in there ran across the, well, one ran that way, but the other two ran across the road because I've been here for about 10 minutes and I haven't heard a peep in there. I mean, we're still going to check it when we're done, but I also heard about five minutes ago a bunch of horn hawking right by the highway, so I'm guessing, I mean, if the deer are either going to do three, two things, three things, they're either going to stay in there, bust across the highway, or bust back to the west, so I'm guessing that they're uh, gone, but we'll check. Regardless, I think that I've got about eight shots on this drive. Not too bad. So I'm just going to sit here and just wait for the slim chance that they decide to beeline across here. And of course, as soon as I turn the camera off and on to kind of make it so the file size isn't so big, a shot just rang out. Man, I thought the drive was done. Well, there goes two more shots. Way up there somewhere. That makes a total of about nine or ten shots that I heard in this area. And the bud man has not seen a deer close. I've seen six deer. Oh, there's another shot. That sound out there in the pasture. Hopefully we got deer down. I know the little lad over there, he hit one and we'll went up that way. We'll have to check that out later. Another shot just rang out. Man, we've had a lot of, a lot of shot groupings here. Another one. Yeah, the drive is definitely not over. There's still one in there, Justice. Did you hit her? I think I did. But keep going, there's one more in there. Sure? Yeah, I saw two and I only see one come out. One yeah, there, for, I just saw one in there. She's like halfway down. I hear her, I don't think she's gone far. And there's one still in there. Basically right towards me. That's the last place I saw her halfway towards the fence. Yeah, so I lied. There were uh, two still in there. Well, guys, I feel like a dumbo. I uh, think I missed all three. <sighs> Been tracking and looking for about 10 minutes now, and I can't find any blood. I know because I was shooting right before that, so that last shot was right before the fence. And I don't see any blood on this side of the fence or that side, so I, I don't know. Well, that sucks. All that target practice I did this fall was for nothing. So I missed that deer, but luckily on the bright side, I completely missed it. Don't know how, especially because one of them was sitting stale. And I apologize for the camera angle. I just looked at the GoPro footage. It was sitting too low, so you couldn't see. <sighs> apologize for that, guys. But regardless, there was two deer in there because another driver came up here and kicked out. So they were really hunkering down. What do you do, I suppose? What do you do? I'm mad at myself, but I, hey, it is what it is. It's a sport. It's called deer hunting, not deer killing. And like you said, it, it, could, it couldn't have gone far because... Oh, it, I know it didn't because I didn't... Like I said, I saw it go out. <sighs> oh, that sucks. The first two, is she I was moving. You hit that I did too. But I looked everywhere. There's no oh, blood. There's nothing. I could have sworn when I saw her the last time crest over that hump up there, mm -hmm. I could have sworn she had her back like this. Well, that sucks, but we lived to hunt another day. Now we're heading down the hill. 
I know there's for sure two deer down, three deer down there, so all was not lost. I think that makes six for today, at least. They're tracking one right now, so we'll see. Boot. <laughs> hey, what'd you do that for? I mean, you're saving the meat, bud. That's what I hey, like dude, to see. It's like a 200 yard shock. <laughs> Died by shock. I said they got Didn't go pick. I was gonna say, well, how far up the hill is that? Is it's that on the road? We got it on the road. Alley. Cool. So we got four out of this drive at least. Well, that's a nice doe that got headshot. Yeah. Sweet saving meat. No, what? No, what was that? Someone down there. Sounded like it. Right there, yeah. deer crossing the field into the cows. Swear to God. They're, they're looking there too. Three. Three. Airborne. Ooh, well, that was a fun, fun day. That got five deer out of that drive. Mel got two. Stretch got one. All does. Don got a, a fork. And what was the other one? Who else? Who else got one? Oh, Reese got a deer. So overall, pretty good day. Eight deer down. Nothing monstrous, but meat for the freezer. So we're gonna shut her down and head to the deer shed. Oh, the black deer, curious. Renee right there. Renee, which one's Renee? Right here. Oh, that's Renee's. That's the nice one. So what do you gotta say to close out the bit video, bud man? Good day hunting. Everybody was safe. We got a few deer and we got Bobby coming tomorrow. It's gonna be a fun day. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see if we can get you guys some footage of it at the deer shack and We'll do it again tomorrow. Thank you guys so much. Take care, take it easy, stay safe. Go check out the rest of our hunting playlist. A lot of good, a lot of good videos out there, especially this one. This one's my favorite. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.